A local Muslim congregation says they've been locked out of their mosque by Shaw University, and they want to know why. Hello, everyone. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Chris Lovingood. This story is gaining national attention from Islamic rights groups. WREL's Laura Leslie joins us live from downtown Raleigh, where that congregation held their Friday service outside their mosque in protest. <laughs> Chris, members of the King Khalid Mosque have been worshiping here on the Shaw University campus for 40 years. Now they're asking Shaw University why they're being treated differently than a Christian chapel on the same campus. The school isn't offering an explanation to them or to us. Over the roar of noontime traffic in downtown Raleigh, an ancient prayer rose up. Shoulder to shoulder, kneeling on prayer rugs in the cold winter sunlight, the congregation of the King Khalid Mosque held Friday services on a busy street corner. Outside the mosque, Shaw University will no longer allow them into. Pure discrimination, pure and simple. Imam Juma Musa says the congregation has been worshiping at the mosque for 40 years, but Shah closed the mosque during COVID and never reopened it. He says the school even changed the locks without telling them. Open your mosque here. In a statement, Shaw University said in part, in the wake of the pandemic, the campus mosque will only be available to currently enrolled Shaw University students. However, the Christian chapel on the same campus, Boyd Chapel, is open to the public and holding regular services. This is video of a service there this month. Our belief is that is because we are Muslims. This is a Baptist affiliated university. You have one religious place of worship that's open and another that's not. Nigel Edwards is the group's attorney. He said the mosque and the building it's in, the International Studies Center, were built in 1983 with a million dollar gift from the Saudi royal family, with the requirement that it would house a community mosque. This building would not be here if it weren't for the fact of a donation from Muslims to establish this building and a mosque inside. That was the condition that the Shah University received when they accepted the money in the first place. Musa says it's ironic that a school that played such a large role in the civil rights movement 60 years ago is doing this today. How on one hand are you going to deny people for the act of worshipping? And on the other hand, you say I stand for justice. So if not hypocrisy in this century, in 2023, what is it? Uh, we asked Shaw, Inter Shaw University for an interview for this story, but they declined. It is a private Baptist university, so legally it is not required to accommodate other faiths. In the meantime, the National Council on American Islamic Relations, CARE, is calling on the school to reverse course and reopen the mosque in the name of religious freedom. All right. Thank you so much, Laura.